Good day everyone and welcome to another fun and exciting learning with me, Mom Isa. Today, we are about to learn a special kind of pronoun and that is the reflexive pronoun. But before that, I want you to take a closer look at this picture. What do you see? Very good observation. There is a man holding a mirror and the mirror reflects his image. But what do you think is its implication to our topic today? Well, let's find out. But before that, I need you to take your pen and a notebook and jot down important details while we are discussing. Are you ready? Let's begin. According to dictionary.com, the term reflexive comes from the medieval Latin reflexibus meaning to reflect. If we are going to connect that to our picture earlier, it means that the reflexive pronoun is just like a mirror. But what does it reflect? According to another definition, reflexive pronoun is a special kind of pronoun that is usually used when the object of the sentence or the receiver of the action is the same with the subject or the doer of the action. We have lots of personal pronouns, and each personal pronoun has its corresponding reflexive ones. Just like the word I, we have myself, singular you, yourself, plural you, yourselves, he, himself, she, herself, it, itself, we, ourselves, and they, themselves. So let's take a closer look on how we use reflexive pronouns. Again, remember that when we use reflexive pronouns, it is always when the subject and the object are the same. I am going to flash different sentences and you have to repeat after me. Sheila hurt herself. Who is the doer of the action? Yes, Sheila. She is our subject. What about the verb used? Very good, hurt. And what about the object of the sentence? Yes, herself. And the word herself refers back to? Yes, our subject, which is Sheila. Let's have another sentence. And again, repeat after me. He shot himself. Who is the doer of the action? Yes, the personal pronoun, he. What about the verb use? Yes, the word shot. And what about the object of the sentence or the receiver of the action? Yes, the word himself. And the word himself refers to? Yes, the personal pronoun, he. Let's have another example sentence. Again, repeat after me. Carl made himself a necklace. Who is the doer of the action? Very good, Carl. He is our subject. What about the verb use? Yes, made. And what about the receiver of the action? Good, himself. And the word himself refers back to? Very good. It refers back to our subject, Carl. Now remember, again, reflexive pronoun is just like a mirror. It reflects. Meaning, we are going to use reflexive pronoun if and only if the subject and the object of the sentence are the same. So I hope that you have learned something. Thank you for watching. Until next time, bye!